Hey, what is up guys and welcome back to the channel today to episode 3 of the top 5 attackers classifieds in today's class in science and let's get right to it. I've got our usual four shot list and let's get to it. So the first champion you're going to see up there is Captain America Infinity War and he's one of the more recent champions in the game and he's a god tier. For me, he's a god tier. He has incredibly high block proficiency, incredible damage on the special 2, he can reverse healing he has the ability to counter unstoppable. So all four of those make him a god tier champion for me. Um, if you parry, you get kinetic charges and then increase the special damage as you ramp them up. And you can get to a high of 6 and you put a heavy attack, you get a fury buff and pair with all of those as special 2 can hit up to huge amounts. So Legacy did a 56,000 special 2 against the Realm Flexible Soldier. That was with the class disadvantage and that was a 4 star 5 MP champion. So yeah, he's got really awesome damage. Uh, Brian Grant probably did a video on uh, him heal reversing and killing Wolverine in Realm of Legends. And he can unstoppable, you can stop an unstoppable opponent just by charging into them. So that makes defenders like Juggernaut and Unstoppable Colossus really relevant. And he can be really annoying defender because he can glance a lot of attacks and stuff like that. That's why he's on the top of the list. <coughs> and then there's Quake. Um, some argue in the community that she's a god tier, and I actually agree on seeing this one. She's, she's not really a god tier, she's a really good champion, she's a high demi god tier. But there are certain matchups and uh, certain type of uh, fights that she can't do properly. Like, say, if, uh, with, her, with her unique playstyle, she's a really hard champion to master. But once you get the hang of it, Quake can pull a lot of weight. So what I was saying, like an opponent like Mordo or Hyperion that has power gain, for example, um, usually with Quake you play with uh, no physical contact and just heavy charging them and heavy charging them. So if well, while they're heavy charging them, an opponent like Mordo or Hyperion will have power gain and they can just clip you with a special and kill you right away. So it's stuff like that that makes Quake um, not so good. Uh, but she has really great value this month against the uh, the uncollected Red Skull boss. With no physical contact, you're gonna give him no power, and you just you you can just uh, stay in a corner, hit a charge, and kill him right away. He's great for mat matchups like Dormammu and Fistos and a lot of stuff like that. And then there's Void, according to Seaton, the only science cop tier champion. Now Void has some really interesting uses, but potential downside of the character and that I don't like about him is that he needs to be awakened and at a really high signature level or else he's not going to really do that much so the main power of Void is debuffs and the way he can reverse healing so he can put a lot of debuffs on and uh, a certain amount of debuffs, debuffs turn into Fear of the Void now that gives him a really increased amount of attack and uh, he can put uh, he can put up uh, debuffs faster and stuff like that so he can reverse healing he's got a really good amount of attack and he can with his petrify debuffs he can nullify power gain nullify uh, a lot of nodes and he's she's, he's really good for fighting Medusas and stuff and saber tools and defenders like that so he's a really good champion and then there's Luke Cage and one of the OG champions in the game and one of the memes but with a buff to him and Red Hulk they've, uh, Kabam has made both of them uh, high demigod tier champions and they're really good. Luke Cage has some awesome damage he, and if you have him awakened he can tank special threes and with five up to if you can put five exhaustion debuffs on the opponent uh, their power gain abilities are reversed and you can keep you constantly at zero power so fights like Hyperion and Mordo, they become really easy uh, and their plugging gets reversed and they uh, constantly are at zero power and then they're stunned the special one and he hits really hard on special two. So that makes him a really good core. And then there's Hulk Ragnarok, uh, one of the more re recent champions added to the game in February and he's really good. He's awesome for fighting magic, Mephistos and moves that have passive damage. So it gives him additional attack and stuff like that. And he has some really, really good damage. He's got heal block, stun on the special one, really good damage on the special two. He's just an all-round great champion. 
I was debating between uh, the fifth place on the list uh, between Red Hulk and Hulk Ragnarok, but they're both good, and I just uh, decided on going with Hulk Ragnarok instead of Red Hulk. Now coming to the honorable mentions, Red Hulk is an awesome champion after his buff, so uh, with a special one, <coughs> sorry about that. So with a special one, you can gain two heat charges, and eat. each heat charge increases your attack by 18%. So say you threw like five um, special ones, and each deep uh, and each uh, heat charge increasing your attack by 18 percent. That gives you an extra 180 percent attack. That just gives us crazy damage. And if he's awakened, he starts to fight with two heat charges. That gives you um, one less special two to a special one to get to that uh, 10 heat charge uh, threshold. And then there's the synergy with massacre that actually gives him extra two heat charges that makes up to four heat charges at the beginning of the fight so you can start with a crazy amount of damage and he's got some little bit of regeneration with the special two it actually all that combined makes him a really good champion now the OG Hulk have to be on the list because he's so good an 85 percent chance to uh, stun the opponent on the special one huge damage on the special two and if you take a couple of hits and as his health gets lower his damage keeps ramping up and up and up but that's the only downside of the character, you need to take a lot of hits to hit them back instead. So yeah, that's why he's not on the main list. And then there's Wasp, who I debated on putting on the list, but her low health, low PI, and low block efficiency kept her off the list. But she has some really good damage, um, you, her damage goes up if you keep uh, your combo on, and she can put up some very, very strong petrifies, and which reverses healing and power gain. So she's a really good option for potentially live from Legend Six Twenty Three and uh, round Flex from Green and match up like that. So this is it for this list. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash that like button if you did. Subscribe for more content and hope you have an absolutely fantastic time.